Hey folks, Tyler Tamerlane here with another Obscurity in Miniature. Today I'm going to be taking a look at something different, something that I, yeah, actually painted for once. This is the Lord of Malice from Creature Caster Studios. I believe they're studios and they're miniatures. But anyway, Creature Caster comes to us out of the great white north of Canada. And I know they ran a Kickstarter a few years ago for kickstarting off their new figures and um, this guy actually is one of the later releases he came after the kickstarter um, I was a kickstarter backer things didn't go as well as I would have hoped for but this guy is a great figure and I really like him so this is one of my first a miniature mo <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here um, miniature of the moment that's what I was going to say if I knew how to say words correctly so, just giving him a quick turn around the old-fashioned way with my fingers. Um, please forgive my horrible paint job. I am not the greatest painter, but he is painted, and at least there's that. So, he is quite a tall and imposing figure. As you can see, um, this building, this book, a two-story building behind him. I've got a Chaos Demon Prince here, just to give you a good sense of size. What's funny is our Demon Prince friend is actually on a larger base than our Lord of Malice. The Lord of Malice, actually, one of the cool things about almost all the Creature Caster figures is their bases are actually designed to sit <coughs> on... Sorry, I'm catching a cold here. They are designed to sit on a 50 millimeter base. So his footprint on the table itself is pretty small, but... <coughs> sorry again. As you can see, he's quite an imposing figure. I'm going to grab a Stormcast here just for you. Fantasy players, just to give you a sense of size of him. So yeah, he's a quite big figure. <clears throat> Jeez, I'm sorry. And he actually comes with a couple of optional parts, and that's another thing I've really liked about a lot of the creature caster figures that they've released post-Kickstarter, is they always have some kind of an optional part. So he came with an optional head, and he had an axe instead of the sword. I went with the sword. Uh, originally, I had started to paint him up like Bellacore from uh, Warhammer since there was a, a bit of an obvious stylistic choice to make him look like that but in the end I thought you know what I've got so many corn demons anyway I'm just gonna go with a red scheme and in case I ever get a second one we will just go ahead and paint that one up uh, like Bellacore except give him the axe so as you can see he's got like cool little bony armor all over him I know I didn't do the best paint job but you guys out there that are better painters than me will let you do him justice but he's got a very classic look. The head reminds me of um, Tim Curry in Legend. That's what I was thinking of. I knew it reminded me of something, so I think that's why I went with it. The other one had a big crown-style set of horns, but I didn't really care for it as much. Uh, I don't know what I would did with these like bony protrusions on the wings. I'm not sure if those are actually supposed to be filled in. I want to say the one that was on Creature Caster's website, which I got a link to below. They filled them in, I think, so that's where I got the idea. Sorry, Mr. Stormcast. <clears throat> so yeah, big impressive figure. He doesn't take up a whole lot of real estate on the table, but he is quite imposing and impressive, especially if you're going to bother painting him. Got a nice wingspan to him. You can see he takes up a, a nice chunk of space there. So a puny space right next to him just to see. So yeah, this dude means business. The other nice thing is he's quite reasonably priced for his size. So um, he is a resin figure, and if you are anything of a resin collector, you know that these things, the bigger they are, the more expensive they get naturally, I believe, and I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that he only is about $60 US plus shipping, which really isn't bad considering the size here. I know I paid far more for far smaller figures from other companies, but I gotta say, Creature Caster, at least I feel like I get a lot of bang for my buck, and I hope they continue to release figures of this caliber so this again is the lord of malice there's a link below if you're interested in checking out him or any of other creature caster stuff they put out some quite impressive big pieces for the table especially if you're a 40k or a fantasy player or basically just a collector of demons and other big monsters so again check them out thanks for watching hope you enjoyed plenty more where that came from bye